Very well, welcome back to Let's Play Xeno Gears. Last time we started exploring the hand village, and I explained to you that to get 100% in this game you need to beat a certain guy, rock, paper, scissor, and that's the first thing you want to do. This time, I uploaded the save file where I beat him, and in fact, as you can see, his dialogue uh, is actually changed. I give up, I completely lost the UFA. Just goes to show that I need more training. And before that, her, his wife will tell you, please win against my husband. Is being like he, he talks about rock paper scissors every time I can't stand it anymore. And, and then if you win, I see you beating my husband. Well, this should stifle some of his manic love for the game. But now I see you've come to have a passion for RPS too. I guess in my inventory now I have a lot more money because like, in this file I actually farmed a little bit outside the village. I went and fight some fought some monsters just to get a little bit of extra money. But as you can see, we have an RPS badge. It says Rock, Paper, Scissors, King. Now, this thing combined with two other badges, which are much easier to obtain, can be traded for certain items. Don't worry, these are not game breaking items or super powerful weapons or anything like that. You just get, I think, two or three items that you can pretty much find anywhere else in the game, but you know they're free, so we're gonna get them. And there is like an additional line that pops up if you check a certain place in the end of the game that says, Oh, look, the three badges are here, and that's it. But you know, it's just for 100%, so I have to do it. Anyway, let's go down here. Let's see what's happening here. There is a cat, apparently, and an old lady. Let's talk to the old lady. Well, if it isn't Faye, isn't it exciting to know that Timothy's wedding is going to be tomorrow? I think it's time you found a wonderful girl like Alice yourself. <laughs> By the way, Faye, what do you think of Lahan? I like it. Lahan, I like it. The village leader, Chief Lee, has taken such good care of me. Everyone in the village has warmly accepted me. Regardless of where I may have been born and raised, Lahan is now my home. Oh yes, it makes me happy to just hear that. Here, take this as an allowance. Don't squander it all at once. Your side 120Z, which you can waste on the RPS guy if you wanted to. But I suggest you to keep it, because seriously, gold in this game doesn't come a lot in the beginning. You have lot, you have like very, very low gold, and you have to afford what you can. Later on, it's not a problem, you just be swimming in gold like it was nothing, so you can pretty much buy almost everything you come across. But at the beginning, you need to be a little bit more careful where you spend your gold. Anyway, today we're just gonna go around and talk to everyone. Oh, welcome to the village of La... Oh, it's you, Faye. Oh, don't worry, we already consider you a proud member of the Lahan community. So, how about finding a wife and settling down in our village? Is everyone focusing on that? Is everyone first all about me finding a... Me, well, Faye finding a girlfriend? Dude, we, we talked to like two people. And what they said was like, Hey, how about you find yourself a girlfriend, huh? Dude. I'm sure if you leave here a peaceful life here with your memory will be bound to come back one day, oh, I guess. You have a natural ability to paint and can do martial arts rather well, I hear. I bet it's because your body remembers these things. You'll all be able to breathe a sign of relief when your memory turns to you. Don't you worry, I'm sure it will. I guess it will, little lady. Anyway, over here there's an old man. We can talk to him. See what he has to say. This is no Huh? Huh? Oh, it's you, Faye. What do you want? Finally, at my age, I've become able to live in peace. At this rate, I'll probably live to be a hundred. Ha ha ha. Sure you will, old man. How about this girl over here? Hello, Faye. Tomorrow is Alice and Timothy's big day. Isn't it exciting? I know Alice will make a lovely bride. Ah, I hope a handsome prince comes into my life soon. Little you know, little girl. I'm coming to your life. If you run into this girl, <laughs> he'll say, Hey, stop pushing. Where are you? Some kind of pervert? Yeah, okay, I get it. I'll stop it. <laughs> That's just fun. It shows how interactive the, ga the game of Xenogius actually is. Too bad it's a lot interactive in the beginning and kind of both. It kind of doesn't do that at the end. But another example is you can step on here and. No, no, no! Don't waste perfectly good food like that! So there's a lot of things you can interact with. A lot. Even though you think, like, ah, this is definitely not something I can interact with. And maybe it is, you never know. 
Anyway, let's keep talking to the people. There's a lot to do here. I don't want to talk to this person quite yet. Dan is over here and talking to him kind of advances the story, so I don't want to do it quite yet. I want to talk to this one. I think these boys are playing hide and seek. Let's see. I don't want to pretty funny dialogue. Is it this one? Uh, so how could Alice go and get married? And to that muscle head Timothy. I I've loved her since I was a baby. What am I supposed to do? How am I supposed to live? I spared you the scream because I really don't want to do it. But you get the idea. <laughs> Life can be so unfair. Little you know, kid. Little you know. Anyway. What, wait a minute, what's... Okay, I thought... Hang on. Um, from this angle, the thing of this car wheel, it looks like a, it looks like a rifle. Then it turns around and looks like some bars of metal. <laughs> they don't look like a rifle at all. It's not like they don't have rifles in this game. They do, they do, but... Not in, not, not in this small rural village, I guess. What's this man running around doing? You have a dog? Is this a dog? What is it? Yeah, it's a dog. Yo, Faye, Alice has sure gotten pretty, huh? Come to think of it, Alice, Timothy, and you were always together. I bet you also had a crush on Alice too, eh? Am I right? Ha ha ha! He's just like, I get it! <laughs> I'm the best! Anyway. So there is this girl here, we, you can actually talk to her behind her cart, I think? No, wait. I'm wrong. But it's a cow here. It's not a cow, it's actually a beer cow, as we'll learn in a second. Let's talk to this lady. Alice and Timothy's wedding tomorrow is the talk of the town. I guess it's to be expected, though. It is one of life's biggest events. The women of the village are born, raised, married, and live out the rest of their lives here. There must be some happiness in that, but... I've been thinking from time to time. Sometimes I wish I were born a man so I could travel the world and live an ever-changing life. Huh, <laughs> it's weird, isn't it? No, of course not! Really? Do you mean it? Huh, I knew you'd say that for me, Faye. Here, this is my very own homemade aquasol. Our beer cows love it. Try it out sometime. Reserved aquasol, the choice of all beer cows. Apparently these beer cows like to drink our healing items. As an aquasol is an healing item, we can see that by pressing triangle, going the right item through a circle. We can see our items, well you've seen that before. We have three aquasol which restores 50 HP of one ally. As you can see it says ally, single. On the other hand, that we haven't we have here we haven't talked about the spider web I mean I did a little bit last time what he says is just tough thread again this won't be useful until like halfway through the game but you can buy it so it's no big deal if you don't get it what about you hey Faye let's go tease the girls again what the hell uh, what have I been doing in the village mean, what, what have what has Faye have been doing in the village dude what have we been doing <laughs> I'm curious to see what the Italian text is I told you it's very different in Italian. Hey, hey, Faye, help me find another elephant sparrow's nest sometime, okay? Run away! I guess these two kids are playing tag. I was wrong about the kids playing out and sick, apparently. Let's keep going. What about these two? Lately, my legs have gotten weaker. It's causing me a great deal of trouble. I would like to go and have Dr. Uzuki take a look and see if they can help me. But it's a tremendous task to go up that mountain path to visit the doctor. I must be getting old. Well, you don't look that old to me. Well, then again, you don't know. What about you? The doctor's eccentric. Why else would everyone live on a mountain peak like that? He should have moved closer to the village. Faye, you're good friends with the doctor. Ask him to move closer to our village for us. Well, if he, didn't, if he doesn't live closer to the village, maybe he has his motives, you know, his reasons. I can't question the doctor. Can I? This is the general store. Although they don't have much of a selection, but then again, we're out in the country, so we can't complain too much. Yeah, I will check that out later, thanks for the info. Anyway, over here there is a man and another bear cow. Hmm. Oh, I'm just contemplating what I should plant next. I have to I've got to keep talking to him. It's all work just trying to raise crops, but it's an excellent feeling, Faye. In this great open land, new life emerges. I'm not saying we're doing it. It's just the earth, rain and sun combining together to nurt that nurt nurture. How does that pronounced? Nurture these striving new lives. We're just helping them out. Pumpkin berry, apple lily, radish. Hmm, they all seem good. 
Sure, but... Oh yeah, I forgot. There's some only Aquasol. I use my special fertilizer and so it should work real well. Ha ha ha. Okay, recycle the Aquasol again. That's another free item you can get, and the more free items you can get, the less money you have to spend on stupid items, I guess. Alright. Birds are great. They can fly so high in the sky and go wherever they want to. You know, Faye, Mom was saying that you might have come from a faraway place. If you were a bird, you could fly back to your real home anytime you wanted. Yeah, I guess I could do that, but unfortunately I'm not a bird, even though I can jump from a building and don't take any damage. Uh... Okay, maybe, maybe you can help. Maybe seen that. We haven't talked to this girl. He's probably around here somewhere, getting up to his usual mischief. Alice was saying she needed him for something. How could a brat like him possibly be related to Alice? Oh, brother. Is this the village consultant house? He can teach you all kinds of things. Before you step outside of our village, it might be wise to stop by here for some advice first. Yeah, we'll do that, we'll do that. Uh, we talked to this lady. There's one lady I haven't spoken to outside. I think it's over here. By the way, you can reach the outside of this map, and if you do that, if you are close to where we need to go in terms of story, you will enter the next course, which you can do, you will fight enemies there. If you're not close to that, you will end up in the world map, which has nothing to nothing really to check except you can just re-enter the village or wander around and fight monsters. Not really that big of a deal. I want there was a lady around here, was it? Oh there she is. Oh hello there, Faye. Come to think of it, it's already been quite a while since you first came to our village. I take it you still don't remember anything prior to where you're coming here from. No. It must be terrible not knowing your true identity and all. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm being rude. Please don't take it the wrong way. I won't take it the wrong way, no problem. No problem, Lee. Faye understands. Alright, so now it's time to hit the houses. Uh, we've already been here, this is the RPS guy house, so that's it. I want to leave this for last, so let's start going in a counterclockwise fashion. So we don't leave anything unturned. Well, I don't want to do this. This progresses the story. Uh, over here, you can actually check this. The Loffin Fox and Piglet Tavern. Drunks welcome! Alright. Let's talk to these people. They all seem nice people. Hmm. Young one, beware. I can see it. There's a dark and icy wind that blows where you are, where you are going. A wind that nurtures grief and resentment. Inviting death from which there is no salvation. No one will be able to escape from it, but you and only you must eventually face up to that dark wind. Just kidding. I've always wanted to try saying that. Did I scare you? I'm really sorry. Ha ha ha. Little you know. Little you know, old man. Little you know. Have you heard the latest rumors? It said that in the southern desert of Ave, there's buried treasure all over the place. There's hundreds of people who are trying to strike it rich by digging everywhere. A single strike could make it totally rich. Now, I don't know if it... Okay, I think it's gonna go down. Okay, never mind. But then again, you never can tell how much is the truth in life. If it sounds too good to be true, it usually is. But a, f a little thing about the pronunciation of a V. I heard a V. I heard have. I heard the V. I'm not sure what's the correct pronunciation. It's probably have. But you know, I'm just gonna stick to a V. A is a desert town, and a fair just seems a lot like desert to me. It just I don't know why, but that's why I, I always keep pronouncing Ave no matter what you say. Anyway, I should be able to Dude, stop talking, thank you. I should be able to speak to the to the bartender if he comes over to this way. Uh dude, I wanna speak to you. Can I? There we go. Hey it's Faye, how's it going? I ain't got any drinks for kids, you know. Come back when you're older, alright? Faye is 18, dude. Why can't he drink? I guess your uh, your age for drinking must be higher than 18, I don't know. That's the only guess. I mean, I like how the jail is this place. Like, we got all the bottles, we even have an oven over there. It's looking like one of the oven where you cook pizzas. And then they're like... There's like the place there with all the bottles of wine, and there's like another kind of oven here. I like the bar. I think it's, I think this lo this place is like one of the most detailed places in Sino Gears. 
And look at it very well, because you're not gonna see it for a long time. Okay, this this this, this person is one of my favorites. Oh my, welcome, Faye. You wanna have some fun? I give you the best service in the hand, you know. Hey, Ellen, quit teasing the innocent kid. Yeah, yeah, I know, it was just a joke, you blockhead. Gee, he's got sharp hearing, anyway. Maybe next time, okay, Faye? I'll be waiting. <laughs> I like. I seriously love this dialogue, and again, in Italian, is a lot better than that. If you get through the Black Moon Forest to the south of here, you will find the Kingdom of Fire up there. Instead of just wasting away here in this little mountain village, I should go have some fun in there. Beautiful girls, tasty liquor. Why, a gentleman like myself is bound to draw the babes wherever I go. Ha ha ha! Wouldn't that be good? Well, if you say so. Gramps always makes things out to be easier than they really are. It's actually quite a tremendous feat to get through that Blackman forest. All those dangerous beasts and fearsome fire-eating lizards live there. Fire-eating lizards? I haven't seen any last time I played. I don't know what you saw. I tell you, it's better if you don't go near the place. I think you've been smoking something because I, last time I played this game, there ain't, ain't been no fire bluffing lizard. Oh well. Last thing you want to do is talk to this guy. It's pretty important you talk to him. You got a problem with me? Drinking a midday? How can I not be drinking, damn it? You got a problem, boy? So the answer here does matter. You have to answer the last one. Shut up! What would you know? You don't know how I feel. I wouldn't want you to know, damn it. No. Wait up, boy. I'll give you this. Take it. What? What is that? I have no use for it. Don't worry about it, just take it. Nobody knows. In the depths of the sea, a tear drop shed by a mermaid. You see the mermaid tear? This is an item. Well, let's suck at it really quick. It shines like a jewel. Basically, you need this at the end of the game to get a certain uh, a bonus equipment. Which makes a character a lot stronger than what it already is. And you get this here, and this is your only chance to get it. Progress a little bit with the story, and it's gone forever. Pretty much everything we'd be doing here is one time only. If you progress too much with the story, and by too much I mean just a little bit, it will all be gone. So, yeah, you want to talk to everyone in the village, do whatever, check everything possible, and see that you don't miss anything. But if you're following this walk with Let's Play, you won't miss anything, trust me. I wouldn't need anything else if we could only live together with my family, just the three of us. Why can't man understand something so simple? <sighs> Alright. Let's go outside. Hi there, Faye! Did you know that beyond the Black Forest lies the Great Kingdom of Va? It's got a big capital city with lots of people living there. My father is working somewhere in Ave. Soon my father is going to come pick mother and pick and me up so we can all live together in Ave. Oh father, please come home soon. Uh, I actually don't know if there is a person in Ave who will refer to this little girl here. I can see it there actually being one, but I'm not entirely sure because I haven't spoken to all people in this game. In Lahan I have, but in other towns I haven't. So with the power of the square button, we just gotta jump down straight to the bottom. We can enter from the back room. And I see something very unsettling, I'll tell you in a second. So when you enter, you can actually speak to the... I don't think you can speak to the people. But you can speak to the, you can speak to the barkeeper. Ah, Faye, that's the back door. Go around and coming through the front door. Uh, yeah, I'd like to go out. But you're in the kinda in the way, you know that? Dude! You need to move from there, I'm not able to exit. Alright, here we go. Okay, I think we've checked everything possible here. Let's move on. Yeah. This is the store. Anything written here? The Hans General Store, you want it? We've got it. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, more maybe not. Because the store has got nothing. Just because Alice is getting married doesn't mean you have to be sad. Faye, when I get bigger, I'll be your wife. Will you wait for me? 
I actually I'll always answer should I wait and they'll be like oh uh, cloth from the art or something like that as, as the, as, as, I'll, I'll just answer the, the second one because I never did that so if one came what happens to me Faye you so cloth laughter don't talk to me hm. I can see I'm not speaking you anymore I don't want you go away <laughs> I love this game does it does it reset if I enter and exit okay it resets so we can actually see the other option. Really? You mean it? Then cross your heart. Hope to die. Stick of needle in your eye. It's all set then. Our burning love has been tied by unbreakable bonds. I guess. Anything in here? Nothing, huh? So what up, there? What do you sell? Oh, hi, Faye. Welcome. The big day is finally approaching, huh? Alice and Timothy's wedding is tomorrow. Hey, how about getting them a stamina drink of course in law? What do you think? What do you mean by stamina drink? What are you selling in this shop? Come on, you gotta get them a present here. We're the only shop in town, you know. Hey, what are the wondrous things that you sell, I wonder? Stupid things. I knew it. So, Aquasol, we already know what that is. Rose Solar Stores EP, we are... We don't even know what EP is, but... Whatever, Omega Solar stores AP and H HP and AP to full, and Survival Tent is basically Tent for Final Fantasy, full restores your party HP and AP. Yeah, AP is like the M point, the magic points, but we're gonna get into that later. No, maybe not even in this episode. <laughs> anyway, there's some weird thing about these two items. I'm gonna explain it real quick. Basically, Survival Tent, it says it fully restores your party HP and HP, AP. Like Final Fantasy, you can only use it on the save point. Okay, so it acts exactly like a tent. But look, we have Omega Souls. These are not restricted restricted to save points. And since you can only have three party members in your team at any time, three Omega Souls, once per character, would do the same work as a survival tent does for the same price because they cost 50, so 50 times 3 is 150. So basically survival tents are useless. You just buy those, and you will be able to heal everyone to full, even if you're not at a save point. I know it's stupid, but <laughs> that's how it works. Anyway, I'm not gonna buy anything. Thanks again, come by anytime. How about no? I have one last house I wanna go to. I think. But I think I ran out of places I can check. Yeah, this is the last house. One more, last thing before going in here. Uh, you may have noticed around the village there, is a couple, there are a couple of signs. Here's the first one. From all the cool people of the hand, or no. If you go on the back side though, the dialogue is a little bit different. Alice and Faye are in love. There is someone that writes behind sign. Now that is implied to be Dan. I don't think there's anything in the game that tells you that. I think... You have to read it from the book. There is a book of Xenogears called Xenogears Perfect Works. I'll be pointing to that book a lot to reference some sort of the things, but it basically it's a book that explains a lot of lore about the game. There's a lot of artworks and character explanation and details. It's like 300 pages long as I never read them all. <laughs> mountain path ahead. Beware of the HP Goblin Gobgobs. Those wishing to see the doctor on the mountain top should proceed with courage and conviction. What about the backside? Timothy's a balding headed fool, and his dad is bald and stupid too. <laughs> yeah, definitely Dan. But you know, it, it's not said anywhere that it's actually done. Anyway, I wanted to go to that house over there. There's a pretty funny dialogue in here. This is the house where I talk less with, uh, with people, but let's talk a few anyway. Good day, I'm the village constant, but to tell you the truth, the village chief knows far more than I do. However, the chief is an awfully busy person, so I have been asked in charge of answering some of the more mundane questions. As a special for this week, we are lecturing on the Technician Martial Arts Self-Defense. Wouldn't you like to learn about it? Nothing, now, thanks. Now, this guy explains everything that there is about combat. Everything. You can read those, I'm not gonna do that. For one reason. Usually I like when the game explains it, and I go and read that, but... I like this game so much that I wanna explain it myself. So I don't need anything, thank you. Well, anyway, feel free to ask me anything anytime. Yeah, right. 
think of this as the beginner hole in Final Fantasy VI if you played it, that's basically the same. It tells you about all the mechanics of the game. When it comes to fighting techniques, I tend to be extremely fussy. We started to study up on them recently. How about it then? Wanna hear what I have to say? And he explains more and more stuff about mechanics and fights. You wanna choose one anyway, even if you don't care and you know everything. I'm just gonna skip ahead, in fact. The reason why we wanna speak to this guy and hear one of the three speeches is that it will actually give you money if you do that. Just once, but you know. It's free money, and you want to grab whatever money you can come across in the beginning of the game. As long as we'll not be swimming in gold, we'll have to be greedy. So it goes on a little bit more than I thought. Blah blah blah. Experience that blow, I know all of that. Thank you, that's about it. If you keep up in your studies, you're bound to go far. Here we go. This is an allowance for being such an enthusiastic scholar. Ha ha ha. ADG just for that, not too shabby, but I guess I'll take it. Buy some pencils and books with that, okay? Stick with it, kid. What about you? Did you know that you can spin the world around with the L1 and R1 buttons? I'm sure you'll see things you weren't able to before. Explore the world by using your own eyes and ears. That's how you make the gains in your life truly your own. If you're lost, then be lost. There's no need to rush, is there? No, you do. You have to explore the world using someone else's maps. Like I would be ever using a guide, huh? Alright, I guess. And this is the most important one, if you actually talking to her, because I think you know who this girl is, you will lose some money. Not a lot, but... Refrain to speak to her too much if you don't want to lose all your money. Anyway, if you haven't guessed there, well, she is from Chrono Trigger, she is Luca from Chrono Trigger, definitely. Uh, this game was developed by the same guys that developed Chrono Trigger and Square, so there will be some references to it. Mostly like this this one over here. Oh good, good, you're lucky, you came just at the right time. If this is about the memory cube, then don't hesitate to ask me. No one knows better than I do. How about it then? Want to hear me out? As as I told you, if you answer yeah, you will lose some money at the end. If you choose no, I don't think you lose anything. But let's hear it anyway. Alright, good show, that's the spirit. You're pretty smart for an artist. Now open up those ears and carve every word I say into that tiny brain of yours. I'll begin by explaining how to save your adventure. Normally, you can open up the menu screen by pressing the triangle button. From there, you can select the file option and simply follow the directions to save. However, when you are in a town or a dungeon, you can only save at designated memory cube areas. Without a cube, you cannot save. To make this long story short, this bobbing spinning thing as memory cube right, you got... So what do you think? You understood everything perfectly then? Okay, well I gotta... What? You didn't understand? Oh, gee. Well, alright, let me explain once more. Alright, this time make sure you're listening then. The spinning and bobbing thing here is the memory cube I just spoke about. Feel this stand inside of the cube area and calmly and composedly open up the menu screen. From there, you will be able to save into a, no no into a memory file as per normal. Especially in dungeons and other like areas, as soon as you see one of these, you should save without hesitation. You can never tell what may happen next. When outside on the world map, you can save anywhere you like, probably. If you don't want to wind up, wind up crying later, make sure you save frequently, okay? That's some, nice, that's some fancy effect there, Luca. So that's it for my concise summary. You took it all in this time, didn't you? Well, even a two-year-old Dongarian monkey could understand my fantastic explanation 100% and 120%, right? Ho <laughs> ho I'm such a genius. Alright, now for the explanation fee. It's 28 j 28 g is a bargain, considering you were able to recite such a perfect explanation from the likes of me. So come on, drop the excuses. Be a man and pay up. Had 10 and 28 g taken from you. Yes, thank you so much. No receipt given, though. You know, Luca, I played Chrono Trigger. And I was right in dumping you in the reserves and never using you. I have no regrets. Alright. Finally! We can't. No, actually, there's one more thing to do. I was almost forgetting about the well. Okay, we should check this well. And uh, no, wait. We should jump on it. What am, what am I doing? So you jump in the well. After a while, you'll come back up. Phew! That was a close one. This well is dangerous. Perhaps it's better if I don't go near it again. Well done. You found a weird item. I have to keep doing this. There are three items that you can get here. 
So I have to keep going until I have all three. Yeah, that was a close one. He will repeat the same sentence again, so I'm not even gonna repeat that. Sometimes you don't get anything. It's random every time. But usually, if you don't, if you don't get anything, the next time you do it is the right one. Old's well that ends well. You found an Aquasol S. We gotta keep doing it. And well, 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 you found a power ring. That's it. There's nothing else in the will. Let's have a look at the items we just got. We got an Aquasol S, which is over here. Restore 150 HP, which is pretty good. Might be useful on a rainy day. Um, and we got the eyeball, which is the weird item in the beginning. Should sell for a high price. We can actually sell that to the item shop, or uh, whatever. We can sell that even later. No big of a deal. And we got a power ring, which is something we can go into the equip menu and equip over to here. It raises attack by two and defense lower. It lowers defense by two. Uh, I'm not really a fan of this. I want my defense, thank you. Anyway, finally we can proceed with the story. Oh, good Faye, you ready to talk? As you know, tomorrow's final is the day of my sister's wedding. So what I want to talk to you about is exactly that: Alice's marriage. Faye, to be perfectly honest with you, I've always wished you could have been my brother. It's still not too late. You could go steal Alice and run off with her. If you need me to help, I'd be glad to. Maybe odd for me to say this, but my sister's beautiful and a good cook. And this is just between you and me, but she's well endowed too. <laughs> so come on, go for it. It doesn't matter what you answer, the, result, the outcome will be the same, so feel free to do whatever you want. I like answers, let's do it. Alright then, you've got it. I guess I'll just go sweep Alice away and make a run for it. Really? I knew I liked you, Faye. That's the spirit. But if only it was that easy. It's not like we can change their feelings. And you would need to have a love for her too. But I'm not gonna forget this, Faye. You were really willing to go th that far to help me. Faye, you're a good guy. Remember these words, kids! Someone will be using against. I'll be using these words against you. Trust me. No, seriously, remember what he just said. That's important. Why, hello, Faye. Are you here to see Alice? No, I'll be here to talk to you. I want to see you, not Alice. <laughs> Who cares about Alice? I care a lot more about you, you know what I mean? Alright, that's it. Actually, it's custom right that we don't let any man in to see the bright day, but you can be an exception. You're a main character. Come in. I like also the, the, the Alice's house. Pretty detailed again. Again, take a look at her very uh, look at her. Take a look at it very well because you you won't be able to see it if we proceed the story too much. Well, hello, Faye. Have you come to visit our Alice? She's upstairs right now. But doesn't time fly? It has already been ten years since my brother and his wife passed away. We did our best to raise the two children in their place. Oops, sorry. I pressed the press the triangle button. Didn't mean to do that. But now, as far as Alice is concerned, I can finally say my job is done. I know Timothy will take good care of her from now, from here on. Now, all that's left is Dan. I'm going to have a hard time raising him to adulthood. <sighs> so let's go see Alice. Hello, Alice. Is that your wedding dress? Huh? Faye, you startled me. Yes, it is. I just finished it. It took more work than I expected. Hmm, you did a great job there. It looked wonderful on you, Alice. Congratulations. Thank you. Hey, uh, Alice, I'm Faye. What is it? Oh, nothing. I see. Mm. Oh yes, that's right. Faye, have you seen Dan? Yeah, he's outside, bragging as always. Huh, <laughs> that kid. I just told him that I had an errand for him to run. 
Oh yeah? What kind of errand? It's for my wedding ceremony tomorrow. I was hoping you could go borrow a camera and some lights from Dr. Uzuki up on the mountain peak. If that's all it is, I'll be glad to do it for you. Could you? Oh, but I couldn't possibly. <laughs> Don't worry, it's no problem. Anyway, it doesn't exactly make me feel comfortable having Dan handle such delicate instruments. What's more, I might have a chance to eat some of Yui's cooking if I go to the doc's place. <laughs> that's my fay. Well, I'll go up there and now and get them from you. Oh, Fay, wait. Huh? Is there something else you want me to get from Satan? No, it's not that. Fay, have you ever thought about things this way? If... If you had only been born in this village, and if we had only known each other... If we had only known each other earlier on... No, it's nothing. I'm sorry. Well, I think I'd better get going now. Okay. Be careful on that mountain path. And give my regards to Dr. Rizuki. Sure I will. Is this fate? I feel so foolish. Who am I kidding? That's that. I don't think going up uh, again, talk to her, doesn't change. Don't, don't, that doesn't change anything. I think she just repeat the last line, the last line, or she'll just fail if you go fail or something like that. Anyway, the episode is over, and what you have to do is going this way to the mountain path. If you have any unfinished business in the hand, do it now. Or how do you say that? I'll do it now, or shut up forever, or something like that. I mean. That, that's the last moment you can do it. Anything we took, all the items will be gone as soon as we proceed the story. Well, actually, you can go finish the mountain path and come back, but you'll have to go through the mountain path again. You better off finishing everything now and and then add to the mountain path. Anyway, next time on, Xeno on Xenogears, we'll be heading to the mountain path to see what lies ahead. See you guys then.